Hi everyone, this is W2YM. I'm here to show you my tower and a few of the antennas. Of course, I got enough coax on the house here that I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll sell some of it. Anyways, this is the bottom of my tower. As you can see, most of the coax goes here. And then it goes alongside the house. See, we got the grounding system down here. Eight foot ground rod. Of course, that's going into the desk for the radio room ground bar underneath the desk. And of course the uh, tower is grounded. You need the ground rod also. Of course all the coax leads right into the radio room. Well, you got a stand out on the middle section of the tower and then as you go up I've got a couple of guy ropes holding the top of it which I probably don't even need. It's probably overkill for a tower that's under 30 feet by a little bit. Anyways, at the very top, the antenna way up at the top, is an Antron 99 for 10 meter local talk. A lot of us uh, amateurs around the area of Western New York were on 28415. Of course, that's upper sideband. And just a little bit below that, in a little box, you'll see my antenna. It's in a square little box up there, just below the Antron. That's 40 through 10 meter end fed antenna. And I do also have a DXB sloper wire antenna. And I do got a 220 megahertz vertical antenna up there along with them. And we will be going around the other side to get a little bit better look at all the antennas. Here's a different view from the backyard. As you go slowly down, you can see the uh, Antron 99 antenna up the top for 10 meter work. And below it's that little square box, my antenna for 40 through 10 meter wire. And the DXB sloper is coming right towards us, right over the top of us. And of course, on the side of it is the 220 megahertz vertical antenna. And over here is a 2 meter 440 vertical. Got that on a pipe going straight up. And of course, over here, I'm going to show people I've got a Hustler 4B TV vertical right here. Okay, here's the bottom that I have mounted for the 4B TV. As you can see, another mount, and then another mount there, the upper part of the back of the house. And this is the 4B TV I have in a pipe. And I do have two guy wires at the top, and there's one lower that you didn't see. It's going towards the front of the house. And like I said, this is 40 through 10 meters. And here is the DXP sloper. Right now, this is the guy rope that's holding it going towards the fence. And as we go up here, that's still the uh, guy rope. And pretty soon, we're going to start with the antenna right here. A couple of seconds. And this is towards the end of the DXP sloper wire. And as we go up, you'll see the first coil at the bottom. And it's, of course, a lot of wires wrapped around that one. And there's also going to be another coil with wires wrapped around it. Try to make up for the uh, length, because I think this antenna is 62 feet in length. And they've got to make up the length for uh, 160, 80, and 40 meters. And, uh, of course, that's just a couple of feet underneath the uh, end fed, as you can see that one, too. Now, the end fed is uh, going right here. That's 40 through 10 meters, as you can see. And that one's going towards the back, towards the fence. I have both of them tied off towards the fence back there in the backyard. I would have preferred 80 through 10, but don't have that big of a backyard. As you see, she's tied off, and now the guy rope starts. Of course, that goes towards the uh, backyard on the fence. We're going to show you the antennas on the vehicle, which is, of course, a pickup truck. The first antenna on the middle up top of the truck is a 10-meter antenna. One behind that is a 2 meter 440. 
from the one far back here. Okay, back here is the Tar Heel 75 Alpha. Tar Heel makes very good antennas. I talk all over the world with this one. As you can see, I got it mounted back here on stainless steel. It's not going to move very easy, I can tell you that. Now we're inside my pickup truck, and these are the two radios that I run. These are both Kenwood radios. This one here, the HF radio, is the Kenwood the TS480 HX radio. This works real good. It's a 200 watt radio. And the other one we have is a 2 meter 440. This is the Kenwood TM B71 dual bander. I, of course, I use this for local. And these radios both work really nice. Yankee Mike Mobile. Amplifier on just around five six hundred watts for Riley out there to see uh, if it made a difference out at his QTH. This is W2YM. Hey, I'm Oh, very good, Riley. You guys were doubling, but Riley, I heard you a little louder, so I, didn't, I heard everything you said. That's good. Yeah, I still got a little bass left in there, right? Yeah, just a little bit, but you know, you bought me out too hot here for me, anyway. Uh, I'm going to have to take any bass out there, but uh, I'm sure you can hear me there. You're sounding good and proud. Okay, maybe I'll add one more notch to the bass later on today, but... Uh, I thought I'd give another call and see if the amplifier made a little bit of a difference. That's all I was trying to do. This is W2YM. W2RM, it's only good 100% there for sure. There. And uh, you'll call it all. Okay, let me tell you about that uh, uh, Kenwood uh, TM uh, Alpha Yeah, this is Mark here. This is uh, Mark Alpha Romeo Kilo in Niagara Falls, New York. Go ahead. sounding great too. I've got you 10 over 9. 10 over 9 on this uh, wire. I've got that 40 through 10 meter uh, end fed wire up there right now. You're sounding great back here towards the falls. 
Yeah, contact. I got your contact. Okay, let's let the contact go. I think he probably wants to talk to John. Uh, please, uh, please go ahead, contact. Oh, Riley, it's W2IM. I want to talk to you on good you're sounding. Yeah, you're sounding good still. Uh, so far, everything seems pretty good. Uh, you're sounding good, too. I mean, you were coming about 25 over a while ago, and you just got 30 over. Holy man, this is a uh, really, really nice thing that uh, 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 we're getting in here there for sure. There. And, uh, well, I guess that, uh, 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 that amplifier and also uh, that equipment of yours is still sounding very good, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hope I have enough bass for you. I know, I know the other day uh, I went a little bit too trebly for you, so I put the bass back just a little bit more, so that, just to make sure that everything was all right with you. Oh, no, it's sounding good. Hey, 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 no problem at all there, for sure. Okay, who, who's, uh, who's, uh, is it John that's took over everything today? Yeah. Oh, how you doing, John? Yeah, Mark here, uh, Niagara Falls, New York, W2YM. Okay, John, I appreciate it. I noticed propagation is going a little bit down here as the afternoon's going later and later. I'm getting you 3.5. Sometimes you're going back to a 7.8, so it's going back and forth a little bit right now. But Riley, he's a... Riley, you're, you're doing a great job up there still. And I, I noticed earlier you're doing... Uh, I think you are speaking French. Oh, I don't mind. I, I wish I knew French or Spanish. I, I'm lucky I know my own language. <laughs> I'm lucky. Sometimes I wonder if I even know that. But anyways, I thought I'd let you know like I did earlier. I'm going to try to uh, put this uh, on YouTube here, the radio and our conversation. On uh, All you got to do is put W2YM in YouTube and it should be up there for you. We're going to hopefully post it this weekend sometime. So anyways, let me get back out of the way and let the uh, let everybody get going here again. I, I didn't mean to interfere with you. It's W2YM out of Niagara Falls. Okay, Riley, it sounds good. It sounds real good. Okay, let me put it on the side here. I know there's more people that want to contact you probably. So this is W2YM. And I want to have everybody know that I'm glad everybody watched my video. And I hope that you subscribe. And I'm going to try to get more content out on amateur radio. What are you talking about? The ICOM 7700 more? And of course, the PW1, I haven't even talked about or showed that in a video yet. So maybe in a later date, I'll have both of them on. Thanks a lot for watching.